Now I'm going to do a little bit of commentary on Patrick. However, I'm going to concentrate for the most part on Timothy, who is the officer who actually put Aaron in jail and basically spearheaded a false arrest. In particular, had a vendetta. Aaron is very clear that this is the guy who made that choice, who really tried to push the other officers to arrest him. Well, I'm going to keep it short in terms of his biography, but he's the son of William. I usually like the spy noir genre, but I don't know his father too well. Some of the other channels are making fun of him, likes to get on camera, he likes to perform. No, this is not a pop who occasionally takes film roles, occasionally acts in film. No, this is a legit actor. He was acting for decades and then became a police officer. He only became a police officer a few years ago. Sounds crazy, but yes, he went from being an actor to being a police officer. For our purposes, the question, the question that will always be the case with Scientology, is while he was an actor, did he take auditing? Did he read Hubbard? Did he become immersed in the cult? He has been photographed at several different events. The obvious one are the charity events. He has been featured in I know, Freedom? Yes, that's what they call their propaganda magazine. So he's gotten very positive media reaction from the Scientologists. He's socialized with Scientologists. He shows up at their events. And again, he has this demeanor of being very performative with his sunglasses. And we've even caught him on a rooftop. So he's very familiar with Scientology and very familiar with the anti-Scientology side. So it's either one of two things. He is a Scientologist, but he's very, very low level. He may have just taken a little bit of auditing, didn't go any further, but he got enough. You don't have to join officially. You're better off being an ally. You're going to get the benefits, and that's it. Just keep your distance. But And so when he transitioned from an actor to a cop, pretty seamless transition, just doing the same thing. Or he is that rare case. He is totally out of the cult. But he knows, he knows if I protect these people, it's going to work out for me. So whether he really believes in the cult ideology or just realizes it's just going to work, help out David, help out Tom Cruise, right? Make the anti-Scientologist my enemy. He was caught harassing someone on the street. Again, it's a little bit of a mixed case, but I'm going to do a little commentary to understand and contextualize what he's doing my stuff because no, you know I mean, it's right I, there in front I, of you. Actually, Nobody's honest, kicking it. You're the only one who's kicked it today. I tripped on it. You're the only one who's it. kicked it today. You need to leave the location, all right? Bye. Got this guy right here trying to bully me here on a public sidewalk. All you need to do is move down to the corner and you're good. Hey, you're trying to bully Well, it may seem a little desperate. I'm just trying to find footage to make him look bad. If you read Hubbard and you get into Scientology, you know that they hate the homeless. They really hate poor people. They don't like beggars. Like, Hubbard had a very authoritarian mindset. Unless you were useful in a society, he didn't like you. He just really, really hated you. So he had a very authoritarian mindset. Apparently, this guy, Timothy. So it would shock me if he is not familiar with Hubbard. His ideology, personally, as an authoritarian who thinks a lot like them and is willing to do their dirty work. So it's very sad and depressing. Aaron has said he's going to sue. I think with Patrick, it's rock solid. I'm going to do more work on that. But I think there, Patrick is literally threatening Aaron. It's a false arrest. It's a very interesting question whether these coincidences are enough for a jury to conclude. There is a relationship. We don't need to prove that legally or illegally he's getting bribed. Quid pro quo relationship. And he is deliberately helping Scientology and violating people's civil rights. He's violating their human rights. But again, these are coincidences at this point. We've given his background, his acting background how Hollywood operates and how popular Scientology is, 
then it is likely that somewhere he did become exposed to Scientology. And apparently he agrees with enough of it that he's willing to help it out. And that's where we stand with Timothy Talman and the very odd, corrupt relationship the LAPD has fostered with the church and or the cult, as we like to call it. I was not processed. I was not fingerprinted. I was not charged. They kept me chained. They didn't fingerprint you? No fingerprints. They, they kept me that crazy? handcuffed and chained to a bench for six hours and yeah. then let me go, acting as if they were doing...